<laughs> and now, here's a bit of a shanty for you. It started with a few salty old sea dogs singing round their pints in a local pub. But today, 40 years on, and with thousands of pounds raised for charity behind them, the Mask Fisherman's Choir are the toast of Teesside. They certainly are. Today, the choir were officially conferred the freedom of the borough of Redcar and Cleveland. And our man Peter Lugg was there to watch them land the honour. On the brave land east of Huntcliffe Bay, in the waning of After 40 the years of singing for their suppers, the Masked Fisherman's Choir certainly know a sea shanty or two. They've long been a regular feature of the northeast music scene, along the fronts, in concert halls and in county shows. And the choir scrubs up pretty well too, because today was their big day. An invitation to Gisborough Hall to accept the honour of being granted the freedom of the borough. A ceremony presided over by the mayor himself. During that 40 years, you know, they have raised probably in the thousands for charities, for various uh, people's charities. Um, not only that, they, they've, they've represented the council uh, in Holland, in, in Troisdorf, in Germany. Um, they've won national awards, you know. And it, it's right that we as a council, you know, recognise people that uh, put a lot into, you know, into the borough. Accepting the honour puts the fishermen in the same company as other Teesside notables like Wilf Mannion, George Hardwick and Mo Molan. Not bad for a group of friends who began life as pub singers at the Ship Inn. Anything that was uh, that's singable, we'll have a go at. And that was Jim's, uh, Jim's idea, uh, providing that you're entertaining. The problem with a lot of things is, or a lot of choirs, um, they sing the same old things over and over again and they don't vary it, they don't have it up and down or vary in any colour, shape or form. And it always taught us uh, to try and be entertaining. The choir has a series of concerts lined up between now and the end of March. After that, you've missed them. During the summer, it's strictly gone fishing. Peter Lug, BBC Look North, Mask.